What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be starting a brand new series on the channel which I think I'm going to be calling Warzone Bootcamp. Now, Bootcamp is obviously something that you do when you first go to the military and so that is pretty much why I've called it Bootcamp because this is going to be a sort of beginner's guide to playing solos in Call of Duty Warzone. I'm not good enough to be giving advanced tips and you know, dropping 25 kills every game and showing you how to be an absolute freak, I'm not that good at the game but for anyone who is a little bit newer to the game or even just, you know, new to battle royales in general this probably will be helping you out a lot with just sort of like the you know rotating of zones and where to be on the map and stuff like that essentially what I'll be doing in this series is instead of just you know giving general tips I'm actually gonna go through and break down entire games and obviously sort of fast forward through the boring parts because no one wants to watch that but uh pretty much show you from start to finish or you know sometimes it, like in this case we're just gonna start the match halfway through but uh, I'm pretty much just going to be yeah, giving you a full breakdown and giving you my thoughts on you know what I was doing at the time and that kind of thing. So if you do like the sound of that, then let me know if you do want more down in the comments. Like I said, this one will be starting about halfway through because pretty much the first half of the game I watched it and there was not really that many tips to give. There wasn't anything I did wrong and anything I did good. So <laughs> we're going to start halfway through. I think at this point I had about seven kills heading into the top 40. But if you guys do in the future want to see like literally from start to finish from me dropping to the end of the game and just you know fast forward all the, the slow parts then I will definitely do that so without wasting any more time let's jump right into it so like I said at this point I had seven kills and we're in pretty much the top 40 here and I've pretty much got to start pushing in towards where the circle is going to end up now this is a bit of a shit push here pushing into downtown but uh you can see that I had marked that little buy station and I think I wanted to go and buy a UAV I've actually got a loadout which you can see in the bottom right there but I think just the area that I was in, I didn't really want to throw it down and sort of alert enemies to where I was. So I had saved that and I was hoping to get up on top of this building and throw that down. You can see that I'm checking the heartbeat every now and then just to make sure that no one's around. Obviously at this point in the game, there's a good chance that everyone has ghosts, but it's worth checking that anyway. Um, and I actually got a UAV here as well, just to pretty much, yeah, double check that there was no one around me. This buy station is pretty much notorious for having someone camping up the top here. It is pretty risky climbing this ladder. Um, these are the types of things where it's like, I needed to get up here, so, you know, I'm gonna have to climb the ladder. Um, obviously, this guy was here, and uh, it was kind of just lucky that I got up there without him hearing. One thing I did do, though, is you can see that I actually timed that with that airstrike, so luckily, it, uh, you know, covered the sound of me climbing that ladder. But yeah, that was one of those things where it's probably not recommended to be climbing that ladder, but I did get lucky enough to survive it. So now I've thrown down the loadout. Up here, you're pretty much safe other than pretty much where I'm looking now. There's a few buildings in downtown that are a bit risky, but obviously going prone, getting the ghost loadout. Um, it's a smart thing to do, especially heading into... We're nearly in the top 30 now, so... At this point, there is a bounty in the fire station across from where I am. I knew that... He was probably up in the tower and it's going to be hard to get, so I wasn't going to really push him. I actually wanted to go down and get a UAV as well. And once I pop that, you can see me sort of making a decision on where to go. There was a bunch of them in front of me, but you can see this guy just behind me on that uh, buy station. Rather than pushing into the circle early, I actually decided to push back and try and take him out so that there was no one behind me. So... If we just fast forward through this little bit here, you can see on the minimap that I knew he was in this building and something I wouldn't recommend doing is taking these sort of the elevator shafts here, but the thing is he would have just used this as well. So I knew that he probably wasn't going to come up here and then just camp it. I thought he would, you know, check the roof out first. So something I wouldn't recommend doing, but just in the right situation like there, it's probably worth the risk, honestly. Um, and now I could hear him upstairs. He does throw a C4 here and luckily... I just got out of the way in time, so I avoided damage. He still knew I was in here. Um, and pretty much, this was really just one of those gunfights where it could have gone either way, honestly. Um, there wasn't really anything I did there that helped me win that, and there wasn't really anything I did wrong either. So that was just one of those gunfights that, yeah, there's not really too many tips to be given there. Um, at this point, I'm now in a really good spot. Like I said, I was trying to sort of get to the edge of the circle and take him out rather than pushing into the middle of the circle. Just so that, you know, there's no one behind me and I can sort of run in with the circle, which is one of the, you know, the more common ways to play Battle Royales rather than pushing right into the middle and having enemies all around you. You can sort of stay at the edge and, yeah, come in with the circle to avoid people sort of getting in from behind. So at this point, you can see that I'm pretty much just uh, waiting for the circle to start moving in. And then once it does, I decide to jump down back to the building where I pretty much just came from. So this is a pretty decent building because there's really only one way up. Um, 
there was actually a guy up here, which you'll see in a second, and I did not see him. Luckily, I kind of lucked out a bit with uh, him not killing me here, but I jumped up on the edge here. And as you can see, he shot me. One good thing about standing on the edges like that is that if you do get shot, you can quickly jump down. So even though you're exposed, it is actually still kind of behind cover. Now, I saw him over this side again. I tried to hit him with the C4. I got him once. And then, obviously, I was going to do a follow-up just to try and take out his, uh, his armor. I do hit him with a pretty lucky shot here. He pops up, and I just managed to down him. And then from here, obviously, with him being down, I need to push and finish that kill. Otherwise, he's going to come back to haunt me. So it's pretty obvious in solos. It's not so much as important in, uh, in you know, when you're playing with a squad. But if someone does go down, you should do everything you can to try and finish them. Unless they're obviously, you know, you snipe someone hundreds of meters away, then that's sort of different. But yeah, as soon as you get that guy down, you've got to push him and make sure that you get him before he does get the self res. Now, once again, I'm pretty much just coming in with the circle and, yeah, trying to wait on the edge of it to just see where it goes and then make a decision on where to go. I think it's um, it's kind of different if you're a really good player. You can push in and just, you know, be a bit more chaotic. But for me, I do like to play on the edge of the circle and I actually decided to play a little bit of a risky play here and go around the side here. Now, I don't know if I would recommend doing this because if I do get shot at, I'm pretty much buggered here. There's no cover whatsoever. From the right side, I'm pretty much safe because I can you know, duck down into this little valley, but if I get shot from the left here, it is pretty risky. The only thing is, I didn't want to push through all those buildings. I'm more of an open player, and obviously the fact that I've got a sniper, that does help me out. So, yeah, at this point I was pretty much trying to get back into the circle, but I didn't want to go through all of those buildings, like I said. So, again, just trying to get in just inside the circle to see where the next one goes. Again, checking the heartbeat just to make sure no one's around. Like I said earlier, the you know, most people by this stage have ghosts, so heartbeats do become, I don't want to say useless, but they're, they're just very situational late in the game like this. Um, if you're a good enough player, you can use like stun grenades, they're actually probably more helpful because if you get in a pinch, you can kind of throw them down and they're actually <laughs> pretty OP. So uh, yeah, depends on what you like to use. I just had the, uh, the heartbeat sensor, but honestly, if I could get a loadout right now, I probably would have picked up a... Um, a stun grenade or something like that because yeah they do just they're sort of more helpful in more situations whereas the heartbeat it's pretty much relying on luck to see if anyone doesn't have ghost at this point now at this point i'm pretty much just waiting for that circle to close in you'll see here in a second though that i actually notice a cluster strike coming in from a left and whenever you see a cluster strike or an airstrike on the map it actually comes from the direction of the enemy so i knew someone was over in this direction i didn't really know where but i did want to try and sneak around again just playing to that left side of the map and Rather than pushing into the middle, I'm going to just try and flank around the side. So, I just managed to catch him here. Um, at this point, I know he's here, and I'm in a pretty decent spot. I missed this first snipe, but I think I do down him here in a second. Um, and then, obviously, you're going to try and finish him off, like I said earlier. I don't know how this <laughs> wasn't a headshot. If you see that, that's very clearly a headshot. But uh, I didn't take him out. So now, he's probably healed up at this point, um, and I just needed to rush him, but... To be honest, that might not have been the smartest play because he's obviously healed up again. I did get kind of lucky here that I just managed to beat him in that gunfight. And he did take my armor, so that was a little bit risky. I don't know if I'd recommend that. Um, I would recommend pushing, like I said earlier, and that if I had have got that headshot, then he would have died. But once I missed that, it might be worth sort of setting up and waiting for him to come to you. So that was a, probably a mistake on my part, but luckily it did pay off anyway. So, we're now into the top seven, meaning there are obviously six enemies left, and once again, you can see that I'm just sort of, like, checking my sides. I know that there's going to be people in the middle of the circle, but the ones that I need to worry about are more around the edges. So, you can see here that I'm just pretty much waiting to see if anyone pops out while the gas is moving in. Luckily, no one does. And so, from here, I'm in a kind of, like, somewhat of a decent spot, but the only thing is, I'm on the low ground. You can see there that there's, like, a hill in front of me, and I'm pretty sure, like, every single enemy was up there. So, I was getting a little bit worried here. Um... And I'm pretty much going to try and show the entire game from here. I'm not going to do any more little edits. So just to go through what I was doing. So I was pretty much watching that road there. And then this side here. If no one can get beside me, I know that they're not going to be able to shoot me from in front. So even though I am technically on the low ground here, this isn't actually a bad little spot. Now, you'll see in a minute here that there was an enemy to my right. I probably shouldn't have shot at him. You'll see it coming up just here. I kind of noticed someone up there. Um... I don't know, I thought that was a, a certain shot and I missed it. That was a very uh, risky play to do that. But 
If you can make the shot, I would recommend taking it. I just clearly missed the shot. At this point, I was trying to just check that he wasn't going to rush me. Um, and you can see that the circle was closing in. This was a do or die moment where the circle went because this is the last one until it pretty much moves instead of sort of shrinking. So this really was just do or die. If I had to push up the hill, I was going to be pretty buggered. But if you look at it, it is actually behind me. So I did a big dick move here and <laughs> actually decided to push into the gas early which is a very risky move because if that guy had have seen me running in there he would have absolutely melted me and then I would have probably died in the gas but you can see that I had a gas mask and from here I'm in a really good spot they all have to come to me um, I probably didn't need to shoot at this guy to be honest but at this point I was kind of hungry for kills um, he took that guy out there's only two left and then now there's only one left and then luckily I do hear him coughing he's got pretty much no health and it's a very very easy win there so that is a good example of how to navigate that final circle. Um, if you do have a gas mask, do not be afraid of the gas. It gives you, I believe, 10 seconds of pretty much taking no damage. And then after that, you've still got a few seconds of obviously taking damage before it's going to kill you. So if you do like find yourself in that situation where the circle is going to be moving somewhere and you can see a piece of cover, it is actually best to run early. The reason for that is then you're set up. You're actually pretty hard to see in the gas as well. And then as the gas moves past, you're just sitting there waiting for anyone to run to you. And that, as you can tell, it worked pretty well. Before that, I wasn't technically playing too well. There was a lot of little mistakes I did, but I kind of redeemed myself there with that little uh, that little move at the end to get into the gas and let them come to me. So that is going to do it for this one, boys and girls. Like I said, let me know any feedback down below. I do want to keep doing this series and sort of help you guys improve because I've had a lot of chats with some of the guys in my Discord server and stuff like that, and they've pretty much mentioned that they just want to get you know a little bit better at solos solos is obviously very sort of hard and very scary to play so yeah the goal of this is pretty much just to give you guys some uh, some tips and like i said i'm not the best player these are going to be more beginner tips and stuff like that but hopefully it does help some of you guys out now like i said earlier if you do want to actually see like the entire game from start to finish obviously they are 25 to 30 minutes long, so I don't know how practical that is. I don't know if you guys can be bothered sitting through like a 20 minute video. But if that does interest you guys, me just pretty much doing what I just did then, but going through the entire game from landing, just going through all my thoughts and explaining what I did from start to finish, then be sure to let me know down below. That's pretty much the main thing I want to know from this video. If you guys would prefer me to do like specific sections of gameplay or if you want me to do an entire breakdown of pretty much the whole game and show you guys everything that I did. So like I said, let me know down below what you guys would prefer to see. If you enjoyed the video, guys, be sure to leave a like down below. And if you are new, consider subscribing to the channel with those notifications on. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.